Hello friends, today I am going to demo you usage of uh, UI path uh, for PowerPoint automation. So here uh, I have already prepared a code. So the most important thing uh, in case you want to use um, activities to do an automation on a PowerPoint uh, is you have to install this package uh, known as UiPath presentations.activities. Once you install this package, uh, if you go under app integration, you will be able to see PowerPoint. If you expand that, you will be able to see a list of activities which we can use. And just like we have Excel application scope, uh, same way we have used PowerPoint presentation under which we'll be using other uh, like different different activities related to PowerPoint. So, so before uh, like taking through the code, I'll want to show you I have created a template uh, where I'll be giving a meaningful name to my slide deck uh, in the subtitle I'll be saying by my name and then in slide 2 I'll give a title again to the slide deck uh, slide uh, the second slide and I'll give a full name over here I'll give my city the uh, where I'm residing and I'll upload a picture of mine. Uh, this is a picture placeholder and I'll replace uh, both hobby one and hobby two text with my hobbies and this table I'm going to utilize uh, for putting the skills. So, so I'm going to use this template for the demo purpose. So let me take you through the code. So once you have installed this activity, you drag and drop use PowerPoint presentation. In that I am providing my template and I have not checked safe changes because uh, I don't want uh, uh, like all the data which I'm providing to be uh, saved in the template itself. Uh, so I'm planning to reuse it and even I can uncheck this. Uh, and so I'll be using this as a template file and I'll, I'll be saving it i'll show you how i'll be saving it also uh, so first i'm updating the title so in this title um, i'm going to update this title and you can easily figure it out like if once you drag and drop this activity uh, what you have to do uh, you can actually uh, the activity you can say add text to slide and once you add this i can actually show you how easy it is once you drag this you can actually click here you can see okay this is my presentation where i have to use slide one because this is, this is the first slide over here and i'm going to add a title to it so uh, you can easily figure out the place where i'll tell you the other way also here you can easily find out there are two uh, like placeholder where we have to update values title and the subtitle so i can select title here and i can add any text and I, as a sanity check i'm putting this is uh, i'm checking this box uh, checkbox because clear existing text in the content placeholder um, so it's that easy and i have already uh, drag and drop those things i've created a variable title one and what i'm putting the input value here is powerpoint automation and ui path so that would be my uh, uh, title of the slide uh, deck and then subtitle i am putting uh, like usually will put created by so i am putting pi and my name and again doing the same way and i'll tell you uh, in case you want to identify these placeholders also uh, it's pretty easy so here as i told you in the slide 2 sorry in the slide 2 uh, we have hobby 1 and hobby 2 so i am going to uh, replace the text so what I'm going, I'm going to replace, there is an activity known as replace text in presentation. I'm saying hobby one, I'm matching the whole case, etc. Like you can uh, check uh, based upon your business requirement and I'm going to replace it with watching travel blogs. Again, hobby two, I'm going to replace this text in my presentation with exploring different cuisines. Then I want to add an image uh, to the image placeholder. So if you see there is an image placeholder and you can actually I was telling you you can identify so you might be uh, worried like how this number is coming. Uh, I told you one way is you click on the plus sign you go to the slide number and you can easily figure out but let's say there are four or five placeholder or there are more than one placeholder. How do you identify what is the which one refers to which one so you go to uh, the template select the home then click on select and click on selection pane so if you select any value it will get highlighted like uh, if i want to know what is this text box for so i can see okay uh, text box 16 refers to the city text box 15 refers to the place where i am using it 
so in text box 14 i have to upload uh, city in text box uh, 13 i have to upload uh, like i have to put my name upload is the wrong word and here uh, there is only one table table 10 and i am to put my skills the data table which i earlier created um, actually i'll show you this is the data table dt skills which i have created there is only one column which is skill and i have put two skills which is ui path and python and i'm going to write this data table also so first uh, i have to add an image as i told you this is picture placeholder 4 slide number 2 and i have this pic it will be uh, like it will be uh, put over there then we have uh, i am giving a title uh, to my slide number 2 uh, like here the title would come and the title is uh, introduction plus my name and i have already created a variable name uh, like i have given my name city i have created a variable for it and yeah and then we have uh, i was telling you we have to like so i have to see which one is name so let's say there are this is a very good example where we have to use so i go to slide 2 and i don't know there are so many text boxes which one i have to upload my name uh, like i have to put my name is i go to as i told you i go to home select the selection pane and i have to figure out where my name is going to be my name is it going to be text box 14 no it's going to be text box 13 so i have to ensure what is it okay it's text box 14 so it i have to correct it should be text box 13 this is the purpose okay now i know okay city where i have to put my city name so i have to identify which one is this one this one is text box 14 so i just purposefully changed it but here i am going to change it to text box 14 so since uh, it's very tough to figure out from these name let's say if you have more than uh, one or two um, more than one if you have it's you don't know which one to use so this is this way we can easily identify from the selection pane um, what is the placeholder name so i have corrected it 13 refers to name i am just validating it 13 refers to the name and text box 14 re uh, placeholder refers to the city so here city 14 and name 13 then i am going to add a slide uh, so i am going to add a table the dt skills one which i just showed you earlier and it's table 13 as you know you can actually check it and but since there is one table so you could have used uh, the other feature also where you could have gone to the plus symbol in the slide to you should have like you could have easily figured out there is only one table but in case there are more table it's better to have a check it in the selection pane and then i am going to format a slide so i am going to text box 14 i am going to increase the font so i think so by default the font size i'm using is 18 uh, i think so it's 18 which i'm using here i think so it's okay this is 30 so let me just bring it to something very small i save this as a template so uh, first it would be written uh, as like text s11 i'll try to increase uh, 230 so this should be bigger than uh, my name so my name is at 18 and city is at 11 font size so it should become 30 so if you see for uh, set font size is 30 so for this i am using format slide content and add new slide so i am trying to add a thank you slide i'll i'm using it as a last slide i've given it as last slide and there are different layout like you have in when you select a, when you add a new slide you will have different ways to whether to have a, a comparison layout or whether to have two content layout etc like if you add a new slide anytime uh, not on this one uh, but if you add any new slide you will see all these options so those same options are available to you here like so i just i just picked a picture with caption uh, you could have taken anything else also so we'll have a one blank slide added to us and we'll have the number related to it let's say if there's a new slide which is added we have already slide number one slide number two so this would be slide number three and then i'm going to save my powerpoint as so we can uh, save it in uh, different different formats like pptx which is the latest one then we can save it into ppt uh, format so i'm going to use, save it as my name intro slide like pptx slide and then i'm going to save it as a pdf also
so uh, these all things would be visible here in my local uh, my in my current folder so what i'm going to um, let me close this and i'm going to run this code so you saw it created let's see the output so if you saw it created a ppt deck for us saying uh, powerpoint uh, automation in ui path by devashish um, watching you saw hobby one and hobby you saw hobby one uh, and hobby two were replaced uh, by actually the one like watching travel blogs and exploring different cuisines i hope if it's visible i can increase the font and then uh, this one is actually at 18 but this one increased to 30 i if you remember i uh, put the font size as 11 and then i put an activity where i was increasing it to uh, size of 30 and here i have put my dt skills table so it went out because some way i could have uh, i increased it like a, to a large number but here if you see uh, what it is put skill ui path and python dt skills and added a new slide so i can actually uh, use it and i can uh, actually uh, add any picture over here uh, like i can insert any picture etc so i just wanted to demo but i can delete this i won't save this and let's see uh, sorry so let's see whether our template still remains the same because I, as I told you in the starting, I unchecked that uh, feature safe changes. So I'll, I'll want to use this as a template and based upon this template, data uh, was filled and uh, this uh, Devashish uh, Nigam intro PPT was created, which I just showed you this one with all the details and this new slide was added and I think so in the output, we should have a, have the output, it should be like uh, the last slide sorry this sorry for the spelling the last slide is number three as we anticipated if you can see here <coughs> and and then we tried to in the code we tried to save it as a uh, using a activity safe presentation as pdf we tried to save it uh, as a pdf file also and i gave it as name same format i use name and intro underscore intro and let's see how the pdf looks so here also you can see powerpoint automation ui path by devashish nigam introduction uh devashish nigam etc if you see all those details and this has been saved as a pdf file so our powerpoint is saved as a sorry our powerpoint is saved as a pdf file using this activity i hope uh, you would have liked the demo thank you so much for your time